Magandang umaga, magandang araw, magandang gabi. Hello internet kaibigans, ako po si Rachel Torolino, your favorite Philan fangirl. And today, we're going to mix it up a bit and let you in on a very important person in my life, my younger sister Bridget. People lucky enough to know her on another level call her B. To give you a fraction of the type of person my sister has always been, way back when my sister started clubs in elementary school, she would make herself president of the club and charge an entry fee in the form of snacks and coins. My parents joke around about how my sister was the leader and I was the bouncer laying down the law. We obviously don't do that anymore, but she only grew even more as a leader and I respect her that much more for the life that she built for herself. Another favorite memory of mine is when I would sing in front of hundreds of people and she would be hiding under the table closest to me, front and center. Sometimes to support me and sometimes to try to make me laugh while I'm singing. I could easily say that my sister and I are polar opposites. She loves fruits. I don't like them. I've mentioned many times before I really don't like fruits. And I love vegetables and she doesn't like vegetables. <laughs> She's an engineer and I'm a writer. She is stability driven and I'm a risk taker. She loves going to concerts. I love performing in concerts. She doesn't easily trust people and I'm the opposite because I'm sometimes a little too trusting. She's much more traditional and I'm the opposite. She's harder to understand and I'm an open book. I'm loud and out there and she's also loud and out there but only with the people she's comfortable with. She was in Greek life in college and I was not. She's into shopping and buying clothes, and I hold on to clothes for years until they're tattered and worn. She builds things, and I create things. Like, literally, she builds things. She's an engineer. While we have many differences, we also have a lot of similarities, too. We can easily binge watch TV series in a short time span. This girl watched all of Game of Thrones in two weeks time. We both like to plan things. We both love throwing parties because, you know, growing up, we had those typical Filipino birthday parties. And thanks to our parents, of course, we both work in STEM industries. We both have every other Friday off. Totally random, but very true. And we both highly value our education and graduated from universities. And speaking of graduating from university, let's talk about the amazing life of Bridget Bolasan. In high school, Bridget was a straight A student, went to prom with me her freshman year because I was a senior at the time and I wanted her to go, seamlessly moved from school to school three times in four years, enrolled in college courses. Yes, she was that high school student that took college courses at night built an electric car with her engineering club and was involved in many other clubs that I don't know about, <laughs> was a star tennis player and awarded MVP and scholar athlete, started a recycling program her senior year and did some fancy speech in front of fancy people, graduated with high honors and earned her high school diploma. What people don't know about B is that at the same time that she was getting college acceptance letters, she also got news that she was going to have a baby. Of course, this wasn't planned. She was 18 and just about ready to graduate from high school. I remember the day she called me to tell me she was pregnant. We were fighting about something, but I can't remember about what, and it was super late at night. She called, and I thought it was unusual, so I answered, and I was still kind of salty about the fight that we were going through, uh, and I answered the phone angrily. But the first thing I heard was crying. My heart dropped, and... I couldn't make out what she was whispering and trying to tell me. And I heard, I'm pregnant. In an instant, the fight or whatever we were fighting about was over. I didn't, I can't even remember what we were fighting about, but I went into protective sister mode and did not care what else was happening in the world except for making sure that my sister was okay. And Janelle Belly, if you are watching this in the future, just know that Mommy B was crying because she was shocked and having you was not expected or according to plan. And just know that not once did Mommy B think about a life without you. Ask her to this day, she will easily say that she knew that you were hers to love, protect, nurture, and be there for. You gave her life purpose 
and became the reason why she is the phenomenal human that she is today. Back to the story. Because this was not according to plan, you can imagine how terrified she was when she knew she had to tell our parents. Dun, dun, dun. I was there with her through it all uh, to hold her hand while she told our mom. That was scary. Uh, To remind her that the haters and judgmental people don't matter. To comfort her, love her, hug her, rub her belly give her massages, <laughs> the list goes on. Oh, and as for the outcome of what my parents did and how they reacted, they did nothing but love, comfort, take care of her, and hold her hand just the same. My sister continued her studies at community college, and during her first semester as a college student, she was in her last trimester of pregnancy. This girl is, <laughs> this girl, she has so much resilience. It's insane to me. Um, she did her classes up to the time when she knew she had to finally go to the hospital. And on November 13th, 2013, Janelle was born. My sister literally had midterms at that time, had a baby and went back to class without missing a beat. Who does that? I mean, apparently her. Bridget continued her education and transferred to her dream university within two years. That's a big deal when transferring because I think on average now, nowadays, it's about three years to transfer. I remember taking her to her orientation at UCI and I remember watching her walk up the stage to accept her BS in engineering. And of course, you know, I cried. <laughs> she has been on a roll this year. She graduated from University of California, Irvine. We traveled internationally to three different countries together. She got a job at a top civil engineering firm and her longtime boyfriend, AKA high school sweetheart, AKA Janelle's dad, Lorden, proposed to her. And now she's a fiance uh, planning a wedding for next year. I cry every time I think about how much my sister has gone through to get to today because I had front, no, Not I had, I have front row seats to watch all of it unfold. And like I said, Bridget's resilience and her strength, traits that we definitely learned and embodied from our mom and dad, has been the catalyst of all that she's accomplished in the last 24 years. Oh yeah, I haven't even mentioned it. The reason why we're making this video today, uh, today is December 5th and It's Bridget's birthday, so please wish her a happy birthday in the comments down below. Today is her 24th birthday, and I could count on one hand how many times I missed being with her physically on this day to celebrate. The first time was when my nephew Derek was being born, and the second time is this year because it's a weekday and I'm cities away in San Diego, so... Yeah, it's kind of sad not being with her today, but I wanted to make this one special by making this video for her. And aside from wishing my sister a happy birthday, I have other reasons for telling her story. There's this quote that says, There might be days where you are certain you are over it, and there might be days you feel everything all over again, and there might be days where you are somewhere in between and all you want to do is get past this. But no matter despite the noise of it all, there will still be songs to listen to. And when you don't feel like singing and you don't feel like laughing, there will still be rhythms to breathe to. And not because of anything you have done, but because of the light working deeply in you. When I saw this, I immediately thought of my sister. Even though I'm giving the super high of highlights and accomplishments in Bridget's life from graduating with all those accolades from high school and giving birth to Janelle and graduating from university and now getting married and being a boss lady as an engineer. The quote is an example of the days and nights that I'm sure Bridget and you know we all have faced from time to time in our lives. We know having a baby at a young age is not easy What's 
Flug. Halt, halt. Yeah. When Mommy finish, okay? Mom's almost done with school. Give her one more year, okay? okay? Yeah, and then you tend to go school. Yeah, I know. It's okay. It's like I'm gonna sleep now. Mommy's studying. Can you say mom? Mom? Raising a child in general at any age is not easy. Going to college isn't easy. Specifically going through an engineering program like she did is not easy. And living life sometimes is not easy. But the light in her was working so deeply <laughs> that it helped her get through any obstacle. Take my sister's story as an inspiration to find the light in you, or at least if you feel like it's not there, trust that there is a light in you, working hard, working deeply to get you through the noise. While most people say that younger siblings look up to older siblings as role models, I can easily say that I look up to my little sister. I will always hold her at a high regard, but with a balanced understanding that she is human, things happen. Nothing she does could ever disappoint me though, and I, I, I think she knows this because literally she does no wrong in my eyes, and I'll always be in her corner, and I know she'll always be in mine. And the thing about having a little sister, the best thing is that they're your first best friend, they're your first roommate, they're your first confidant, your person, to all my Grey's Anatomy fans out there. And I hope that you are lucky enough to have someone like her in your life because I thank God for her. And especially on this day, knowing that she was born 24 years on this day. And even if you don't have someone, know that that light is still inside of you, that that light is radiating and putting it out there into the universe that there are people to show you true and genuine care and love and happiness and with that <laughs> happy birthday Bridget you deserve nothing but the best and I love you love you so much I'm sorry I can't be with you today love your big sister p.s. if you're watching this Bridget gave me permission to share her story I would not post this without her permission and even if she wanted this just to herself and not to anyone else I'd be okay with it but yeah, if it is public, please <laughs> leave positive, loving comments down below. Can you turn it off now? Say bye. I know this is different, but please click that like button and subscribe if you want more of these videos. Or if not more of these videos, then go ahead and watch my other ones about Filipino-American culture. Ba'ala!